Good morning. So let's talk about Ice Cube, y'all. So he was caught wearing a MAGA hat over the weekend. Unfortunately, it was just on Saturday Night Live. Uh, (laughs) So they did a skit, and it it involved Lil Wayne, Jim, well, you know, the fake Lil Wayne, Jim Carrey and Ice Cube. Check it out. Do not elect him anymore, though Ice Cube and Lil Wayne are voting voting for. (laughs) Why in the name of all that is holy would you be voting for Trump? Taxes. Plus, Trump's got his new platinum plan. <laughs> That's right. If you got a platinum record, you can plan on him doing a photo op with you. Stupid, but it was kind of funny. Keenan so- sounded more like Dub C than Ice Cube. <laughs> yeah, he, he tried. That was his. He sounded was- like Suge Knight. <laughs> he did. Well, Ice Cube caught uh, word of this whole thing, and he reposted it and put, F you, SNL. Trying to reduce me to greed. <laughs> well, speaking of greed, I heard that's exactly why Lil Wayne posted up with Trump looking like Madeline and uh, posted that that thing on <laughs> Twitter. Anyway, um, Lil Wayne looks like he might have risked a little bit more than his fans because his boo seems like him and Denise actually broke up over the weekend. She put love just isn't enough. And I'll tell y'all one thing I know for a fact, a fact, fact, fact. That little Wayne got paid to post that thing about Trump. And you'll see a couple more people that will be posting things up in the next couple of days. I know Mark Anthony was one pre- one of the people on the list. But let's just pray for our country and hope that these people get it together and stop thinking about money over what's right and what needs to happen. Now, um, let's move on. No, matter of fact, let's stay right there. And keep it on Saturday Night Live. Dave Chappelle will be hosting November 7th. So I'm oh, excited yeah. about that. <laughs> now, um, they said that this marks his first role hosting the show since he made his debut um, the, his debut weekend that Donald Trump became president. So we'll yeah. see what happens. Now, Dave Chappelle keeping it right there. He was out this weekend in Atlanta and doing shows and all that good stuff. Well, it looks as though he came across T.I. And shout out to T.I. who was also at the T.I. I mean, the Tiana and Iman Halloween party that my girl Karen Civil participated in. So shout out to all of those people. Either way, T.I. and Dave Chappelle went back and forth about coronavirus in Atlanta. Check it out. You got to start wearing your mask. I've been here all day. This is terrible. But you got zero You got zero positive tests. You got zero positive tests. Dave does tests at all of his shows. We got zero positive tests. We got zero positive tests, right? We are the most open. We are the widely loose, the loosest motherfuckers. As it comes to like you know congregating, everyone tests and negative gathering until they test positive. <laughs> but until then, they test negative. So therefore, Atlanta has tested negative. Correct? Yeah, I'm getting around it. Ah! <laughs> That's not funny, but it is. Yeah, but I would also like to add, like, if you knew you were sick, you probably wouldn't come to the show. So you, like, so that's another reason why there were, like, no positive tests at the show. Right. You'd be surprised. Some people know that they're not feeling well and they've gone out. I've heard stories about people that know that they have corona and they're outside. Uh, but Dave Chappelle will be having Chappelle show coming to Netflix. So I'm excited about that. I'm sure y'all will be too because that's one of our shows. And also, oh, yeah. uh, let's talk about another comedian, Tiffany Haddish. It looks like Instagram was wrong about her in common, or were they? Check out their conversation. Huh? She said she got a crush. I said, you better tell her you spoke it for. I did. You see, I said, what's up, girl? Yeah, Look, I said, I what's thought. up? I had to let her get it out, though. I had to let her, you know, speak on, <laughs> have a little. So I cooked up this, I cooked up this album kind of quick, but it, it's a vibe to it, so I'm geek. Well, I love it. It's popping, yeah, boo. Good. It's popping. Yeah. Very good. Well, I love you. I love Deon you. Deion says it's I very inspiring. Hmm? I love you too. Hmm? And um, I was going to tell you something, but I forgot what it was. All right. <laughs> Well, there was rumors last week that them two broke up, but since this happened over the weekend, I guess that was them saying, no, we're still together. But it oh, sounds yeah. a little forced and fake. What do y'all think? Uh, I, lo- I love you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love you, too, but I didn't want to say it, but it's okay. Oh, what, Billy? I, I love you. you. <laughs> I love you, girl. I I'm love learning. you, girl. Come on, now. I'm L'Oreal. That's Come the lowdown. You can follow me at Star L'Oreal, L-O-R-E-L, or at Morning Hustle Show. We are the Morning Hustle.